Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. And I know, it has been... I almost dropped my controller. It has been like a month or so since I posted another video. And for that, I blame myself. But I also blame getting caught up in all my college stuff. I like, like I was having issues with the next game and I never found time to be able to uh, figure out what was going on, why I couldn't play it. So, I just got caught up in everything. And now, I'm finally back home. I finished finals, like, earlier this week, came home, and now I'm trying to get myself in the, the years of posting again and everything. So today's gonna be the first time I record since being back home, and today we're playing the title was just up here before. Well, it's called What Remains of Edith Page. And it seemed like it's a really good game. I saw like what a bunch of people and like updates were saying about it and said it was a really good game. Like it was getting really good ratings. So I've had it for a while because it's being free on PlayStation. So this is what we're gonna be playing today. I assume I can just jump in if I not clicking on the book. Oh, oh okay. There we go. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. I'm just gonna start at the beginning with the house. Okay. In like the tower that Rapunzel sort of lived in. Interesting. What I, okay, so I lived here what until I, I was 11, oh. but I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. So she was very restricted. Action. Inside the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. I can't take any of them out. Oh. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Oh. That was weird. That felt a little bit weird. Yeah, I can do that. In her will, my mother left me a key, but didn't tell me what it unlocked. Maybe she thought I'd know, or she thought that the mystery would be enough to bring me back. I mean, I'd come back if I just wanted to put a hose in whatever box or room that I wasn't allowed in before. Keep my curiosity. The truth is, even after I inherited the house, I never thought I'd come back to it. But now I had questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. I mean, I like the atmosphere of the woods. Quiet. Not too many animals. Could be some more, but it seems very eerie. At most. Oh, I can hear the like, faint of the frogs. The house was exactly like I remembered it, the way I'd been dreaming about it. Okay. Upon a close over, not like her, I should not be able to front door. Uh, not As so a much child, like the house made tower. me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Very now, abandoned. As a 17-year-old, I knew exactly what those words were. I was afraid of the house. I don't feel like that might not bode well for us. I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Well, why? Of course not. Why would it open the front door? Of course you wouldn't Looking use the in, front door. Looking in, I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. There's a little, um... Oops, let turn that off. Uh, there is a little... There we go. Uh, those scooters that let you go up and down the, uh, stairs. Those are the words. Um, yeah, there's one of those. So she had one of her elderly grandparents living with her, or maybe her mother couldn't get them down the stairs or something. Let's see. The house 
house felt like it had always been here. Even the swing set was older than my mother. Huh. I was right in going to the hole. Let's see, can I get in through this side door maybe? I can crawl through the doggy door, possibly. Ah. Uh, of course. Crawling through the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Hope so. The power had been turned off the night we left. Do you have generators to turn it back on? That would probably be helpful for trying to explore the house. It's just been open. Oof. Uh, tennis ball toy. For the first time in years, I felt like I was home. In the place where she thought she was afraid of. But instead of a family, there were just memories of one. I like how only out. one restaurant would deliver to our house, so we had Chinese a lot. Yeah, or how after Lewis started Chinese working food. at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. I guess let's check this back. Oh, which is a... The table was still house. a wreck from the night we left. It was like a bomb had gone off. Killing everyone. My mom was the only one of oh. us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing <laughs> home. I love. So yeah, she they did live with her. What happens if I walk up to uh, live with their grandmother or what? That just peers into the garage. Okay. So far, I'm really nothing in the house that looked that abnormal. Demon. There was just I, I too much of it, go. like a smile with too many teeth. Wind off the off the water. How oh, does anything? I think the down Finch living room. So Even the fireplace had a story. Edie told me the bricks came from the original house after it sank. The um, I don't know if we have box. I think it's a, it said down French. I'm assuming maybe that's that just down part. Maybe. Uh, let's, let's, we can look in this box, but I don't want to go downstairs just yet. Although, that's probably where the key may be. Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. So it seems like they were like, and I don't know if they were like in the middle of moving. Oh. Well, that could possibly be where the key goes also, actually. My mom wasn't much of an optimist, but she never stopped believing that my brother Milton was alive. Oh. So, her family's just got a ton of things going on. Her brother got a brother that ran the way. Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. Oh. That's an interesting one also. How would we get into this door? We're gonna need to get in there, into there for sure. But let's go see what's upstairs. After and Milton disappeared, can probably Mom sealed up all the downstairs. bedrooms. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Oh. Ooh, I see a fishy. As it were, shark I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I honestly thought it was a tank. I, don't know I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Lewis told me there were secret passages, but I never believed 20, him. 20,000 leagues under water, I assume. Under the sea. Oh. This is what the key to? Turns out, my mom was really good at keeping secrets. Oh. Now it was time to Whoa. find out what my mom had been afraid That's of. Alright. Nothing else in the room to look at, I mean, let's go through. I was honestly not expecting that. I was expecting something to maybe be downstairs in the basement. From the paintings on the wall, it was clear my brother Milton had been here before me. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a honest. plan. But I had no idea what was behind that door. <sighs> 
this room. Just like I had no idea where all this was gonna lead. Okay. Oh no, this is someone else's. What the heck? I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Kind of cool. The gerbil was living lavish. Oh, yeah. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. Check the window then. This area looks kind of cool. What if I could touch something here? Oh, the journal? Molly Finch. December 13th, 1947. Dear Diary, I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. It started when Mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I was starving, so I looked around for something to eat. In the gerbil's cage? Oh no, Molly! The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. I mean, that's a carrot, so... She just devoured the entirety of the carrot. All right. There's My Halloween candy was all gone. I hate it when that happens. I hate it when all my Halloween candy's gone. Is she? I had thought about. Oh. I go. thought about eating Christopher, but I held back. Why would you eat the fish? I don't think he'd appreciate that very much. You could keep him as a pet. I don't think you would either. Uh, not gonna lie. She's got a creepy room site. Uh, I guess this is the only door I can use. Oh, this is her bathroom door. Never mind. She's got a sink and she's got a bath. I kept eating Ooh. and eating. You're gonna, she's gonna eat the toothpaste now. Alright. That's... Not the weirdest thing I've heard of getting eaten. She's gonna eat the missile. I ate a lot of things that night. I wanna can't look out that far out the window. Still looks scary though. Okay. I think I Then I heard chirping outside my window. There's a there's a bird. Finch, it was a maybe? barn swallow going back oh, to her nest. I tried. I reached out for her. Oh. And suddenly... <laughs> I was a cat! What? Okay. She's a cat now? That took a... What? That's... Interesting. Uh... Oh? Uh oh. I guess I can leave this way? Yeah, I can. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. I don't know if. Okay, maybe I can just take the leap from here. I mean, I'm a cat. I got it. That was not what I was expecting. Let's go. Birdie! Hey! Can probably jump to I don't know. I'm okay. I mean, Mom I'm and a Dad I didn't even I know look at exactly. You know exactly what I'm Parents are too wait. Yeah, they're too preoccupied to be uh interested in the cat that's outside the window. Is that the bird? Uh maybe I not actually I don't know. I don't know where I'm supposed to be jumping here. Maybe I go back. What if I... Right here, and... Maybe I can get up. That's the... Alright, no, let's just leave this... I don't know. Yeah, that didn't seem right. Uh, I can't jump from there. Where do I go? I don't know where I go. Unless... It, it still might have to be from that window. I just don't... Or could I? What if I? Yeah, there we go. That that's okay. That was what it was. Then I can jump here. 
birdie. Alright, I gotta leap into you again, buddy. Wait, what if I leap... Again? I jumped and I almost nice. got her. But we don't have paws to catch her safely. Jump down. I could tell she was getting really tired. Now I was up in the big tree. How are we gonna get I her from here? I promised Dad I wouldn't climb it anymore. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. There we go. Oh, but we took a fall. And suddenly, but we I was an feet. owl. Oh. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Well, I thought we were just gonna land on our feet. You know, cats always do that. She is not a one-trick pony. She's a cat and an owl. Rabbits. Ah. But we're still hungry. There's the owl. Molly Finch, you hungry, hungry girl. I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. I swallowed him up, and I didn't chew one bit. Then I flew off to find something bigger. Well, I don't know what other prey owls have. Do they eat worms? That's a mama that's rabbit. A mama rabbit. But it's a mama rabbit. Maybe that's. That, that one could possibly be bigger. Oh, I missed. Oh, no, we didn't. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark! Oh. oh. Now, I, all I can imagine is that we're inside this girl's. This is not a real story. We're inside this girl's head. This is, this is very elaborate for a young girl. This is, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I rolled off the cliff I and into hit the ocean. Car. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Now we have the stomach and the, probably the appetite to eat whatever we want. But where are all the fish? All I see is we need to make can't, we can't go down? No, I can't go down. All I can do is look right here, but I don't see the fish. Oh? Aha! I see you. Fishy, fishy, fishy. I wanted fat, juicy soup. I missed. Come on. Come on, fishy. I, you're literally right in front of me. Come here. Fish. It can't be this hard. It was so easy before. Everything had changed. What are we now? Is this a, are we an octopus? I swear, are we an octopus? No way. Ooh. Possibly? We are an octopus. That is... Those are such a... Uh, they, those are just such a... Now I was a monster and I smelled people like that. It's so wild. It just, it just circles itself. It's just... Oh, 
It's gonna look this way. You know, we need food. We need more sustenance, boys. Let's. Maybe we can call it. Huh? Some I octopus was sick, food. But I need real quiet. But we eat the eat. No, yes. ah. oh. That caught me off guard, right? even though I knew I was gonna so I wanted to stop, but also I didn't. Hello. I slithered to... onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. I'm still having to remember that this little, there's a little girl that was sent to bed without food, and is now a shape-shifting little, a shape-shifting little girl, and over in the toilet, at coming out of a toilet, I should say. Okay. I got closer and closer. Is, it, is this her room again? No, this is a different room. Nope, this is her room. This is her room. Yep, came out. Uh, can we go? No, I thought we're supposed to be going back to the first. Maybe we can get out of the room? Maybe? We'll explore the rest of the house as a octopus molly? Of course not. Hey, oh, under the bed. I see words. I see words under the bed. All of my stomach started growling. Oh. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know. Mark? I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. So, she was... Molly was ten years old? What? Molly was... Close the door. I wanted to look at the rest of that bird. Damn it. I also guess I could have saw that she was ten years old because it says... I got the sense Edie had spent right a lot of time here. Before my mom sealed the doors. What if we, what about, did we check the bathroom? No, it doesn't let us open it. I can't describe it, but I felt like some part of Molly was still here. I mean, seems like there's still a lot of her stuff here. I can't, well, we can shut the window for anything. Ah. The bird. No, it's a cat. Molly, the cat. This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Uh, he well, would have, kind of but mom didn't now. like bringing up the past. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. Oh, 
beauty grandma where's my ah i'm still i'm still learning the story i keep thinking he is like Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the finch house my mom awesome. was furious one summer they evacuated the island but Edie refused to go for a few weeks she was a celebrity Okay, no, Edie is a grandma. I think I'm just confused of thinking that her brother. Built in 1932 by Sven Finch. Oh, I hadn't thought of myself as Edith oh, Jr. for a long, long time. When Edie told people Sven was killed by a dragon, she could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. She could have, but she didn't. Seems Even like in her nineties, really sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Her room was like a museum. Family just eyes all around her. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous Sad. throughout Norway for their fortune and misfortune. Michael. Oh, I want to see if I can click through it. Hold on. There might be other pictures here. Remaining partial. No. Okay. Somehow that paused to me. Okay. Well, I'm. Uh, the buttons haven't really been explained. I'm trying to figure out if I can click through and go through this. All oh, right. The medicine container. Bye. Happy 90th, Grandma Edie. Deepest sympathy. Oh. I assume either for her husband or. Her? If she was still around. Little figure. The only trace Grandpa Sam's first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. I mean, it's very interesting. It was a kind pretty big trace. Kind of digging the pink bathroom, you feel me? Go through this. I'm seeing the dots, but. Their particles. Oh, here we go. Another thing that requires our key. Perhaps There's a secret thing. in this bathroom. Secret. It's handle. in the last place you would look. Me out of the book. Ah, okay, so trying to lose a pause on the game. This one out of the book. How do I? Uh, it won't let me out of the book. Excuse me? It isn't oh, in the cupboard. There we go. I didn't realize there was more to it. I pulled it and, like, it didn't do anything. It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Oh, alright. Like that. Yeah, it was not, it was just not like Sven me gave Sam an old camera he'd in. refurbished. He never put it down. Calvin Finch. Born in April, dying in September. Sustainable. Both of the pictures, I guess. More from Milton. And hurry. Calvin's room. Is this? I guess so. This for Calvin. Ah. Ah. Let me up. Let me up. Smoking 
bunch of pictures. It looks like I knew Grandpa um, Sam had a twin. What is it called? Museum, like a museum with this rope right here. This room is like. And that he never talked about like it. That. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Calvin Space Brigade? How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Fink. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. I can control the legs. I like that. There we go. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, I'm going to be slow. I was thinking he'd never be afraid again. Me. And he wasn't. But let's go as high as we can, boys. I think Calvin I always swings. wanted to fly. No thanks, Coming. Mom. We're on the swing. But that day, swing. he finally made up his mind to do I it. I want to take a fly off the swing. I told him sense. going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't said that. Oh, are we trying to go around the branch that we're on the swing from? Hold on, and Mom. I'm almost there. Victim. I'm almost there. I'm so close. And maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I, assume we're just supposed to be I think he'd already I made up his mind. Stop. I would love it. This is a bit much. That's what I want to remember about my brother. And is that it? Are we going around? The day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. Oh. Aw. Uh -huh. Poor Calvin. That is. That is. A bad way to go out. Calvin's story yeah. felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Haven't we all? I remember trying to do that a couple times. Definitely doesn't make it seem any safe. That was barely a sentence. After the so funeral, sorry. Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Wait, Edie, oh, roped off. Fort Sam, Fort Cal, oh, okay, so they shared a room. Uh, okay, I get it. Uh, oh. I could go up his side, but he was Mom said Grandpa Sam here. enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. Oh, uh, little, uh, caterpillar. The, uh, other handle. Uh, oh, it's gonna pull up. Gotcha. There we go. This house has so many secrets. Oh my god. The passages were a pretty a tight like fit. This. They'd obviously oh, the been for smaller hands and bellies. Uh, wait, what's on this? What's over this way? No. Uh, I can go either way, but it's right here. It goes first. This just lead out into the. Uh, oh, okay. I can get back in. Oh. Uh, well, what's this one? Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Uh, Mom must have locked the third floor stairs on the night we left. All right, maybe we find. Edie's father, to Odin, built the original house. Odin. Imagine having a grandfather named Odin. That'd be awesome. Maybe we find a way to get into the. Uh... Uh, attic from Barbara's room. Oh, I Bigfoot. That startled me Going just up, a bit. 
I always thought of Barbara as a child star. It's saving. Auto save right there. Uh, Swan Lake. I, well, I don't think I really need to open it. I have my ID holes to get into places. Barbara got some trophies. I like that. And a ton of books. All of these rooms have so many books. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Hmm, there we go. Do I read it, or are they gonna read it? Oh, Jack here, with oh, yeah. another ghastly tale, inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending. Of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan, and current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when... <laughs> now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was canceled. How do you slip into a table saw? Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums in Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles in secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him, right on cue. She reached for the music box. Oh. That's, I like that. she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. But didn't he... Didn't he use the key to get down here? How would the key she still found be there? Rick's crutch and imagine the worst. This is kind of cool. I'm like... Unlike the gang's the leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Oh, this kind of table saw. Yeah, still, how do you slip into that? I don't know, I mean, accidents happen. Who am I to say? Who am I to ask? The hookman's rattled and grew steel. Can I turn around? Or just walk up to the fridge? Oh dear! Oh. Oh! Rick? Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you're. Uh, she threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Kept Barb, his crutch. Have you seen my other crutch? 
and she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Ah! Okay, I'm coming up, but if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. Additional scary movie sound. Uh, oh wait, I know what stairs are. Don't be stupid. Dude. We're missing the. Uh, we're missing the. Uh, the moving chair on the uh, the staircase. Walter. Walter, are you there? Walter. Orca's Island police described the man as six feet tall well, with a steel hook for a hand. Plan on Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. I returned, saw the hook man, and Jeez. was yes. speechless. He was quite smashing. <laughs> hey, I was going to kick the man. Kick that man. He couldn't get enough of Barbara. Okay, Barbara. There's gotta be another way out of here. I mean, knowing your house, there's always another way out of her room. Oh, I was gonna say, whose room? There we go. If we're in this room, we can easily get out of here. That night, she played her part beautifully. But her one mistake is she did not cover it. She thought and about that. the family when you out, but oh. just couldn't do it. You know, that wasn't me thinking about abandoning Walter. Why would I? Why would I, I, why would I abandon Walter? This keeps confusing me. I can't tell what's comic or what's me having to move forward. Nice window wise. And he's gone. Ah. The hook man had vanished. She listened for his breathing, but all she heard was. Scream. Door. Oh, that's a chair? That's actually kind of dope. Not gonna lie, that's kind of dope. I thought that was a chair, but I thought I was... So I thought I was tripping. Door. That's kind of cool. Chair. Dying like to that. speak like to young Barbara. At the door, she heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. So, uh, I wasn't there That's a lot seven, of monsters. But I hear Barbara Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter? Hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard. 
But that's another story. As for Barbara, tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Oh no, that's... Now that's what I call a that's... real eerie tale. <laughs> that's what you call that. That is exactly what you call that. I will agree with that one. That one pun, pumpkin man. You got that one. Oh. Okay. Edie Dee told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered. As absurd as that comic was, maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Hmm. Oh, Barbara. So sorry you had to go that way. I don't think there's anything else in this room to look at. That I guess that was the only thing that was for, for us in here. So that just probably takes us back. The uh, little path away. So I think this is a good place to stop. I've gotten a lot of people found out about. It's um, funny. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. And so, uh, I'm gonna end this one here. And we can look for that, see if we can maybe pop out that basement key, because I don't think I spun that uh, little music box enough in the beginning to do it. So, we'll try that in the next one. And, of course, look for the stories of the rest of our family members. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. Leave a like if you did, subscribe, comment, and turn on bell notifications so you guys get notified when I post my next video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Later.